can I create a rope elevator that will get a person up to here and take him down while simultaneously resetting our system each time? The answer is yes. Although there is a caveat to that, okay, which I will show you here in a second. But here's the principle. We're going to have somebody here. Imagine this is a tree house. Uh, all this is open. Okay. We want to get him up to this opening right here. And then he's going to come up to here and lower himself down. All the while ascending at a safe rate. Meaning he's not going to go flying up this thing and hurting himself. Um, and more importantly, he's going to be able to get on this rope and slowly descend at a safe rate without injuring or um, killing himself, okay? So, how does this work? I've got a model over here. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to try to capture the scale of this. It's kind of hard with an open shop, um, but I'm going to try my best so you can see this, and I'm going to focus in on these details. But primarily, all it is is uh, two ropes right here, a double pulley here, a double pulley here, a single pulley here with a becket and a counterweight. Okay. What's important to note is that whatever you're lifting, if this is a person that weighs 100 pounds, this counterweight needs to be needs to be about 30% heavier, approximately. Okay. Um, so that counterweight should be 130 pounds because um, even though at one point in this system, it's a basic one-to-one -one system. Half the system is a one-to-one -one system. Um, you still have to overcome inertia, okay? To get the ball rolling, so to speak. Okay, so counterweight's going to be about 30% heavier. Approximately. Now, if any of you choose to do this with a, a live load, meaning a person, um, I highly highly, highly encourage you to have a belay system on here to where um, nobody can get hurt if you don't get your calculations correct, okay? Um, because the last thing I want to do is have anybody get hurt, okay? All right, so look at this picture one more time. I'm going to show you the model of it that I've created. So let's go over here. And again, I'm going to try to capture the scale here. But this is it, okay? I've got a two rope system right here, okay? That counterweight, you, or the weight you see at the bottom is gonna simulate the person, okay? Um, getting on this system. So you have a green rope and a tan rope. They go through a double pulley, change of direction, and through another double pulley into a single pulley, okay? The green rope is a one-to-one -one system, so it goes up, change the direction, change the direction, back down to our counterweight. The tan rope goes up, change of direction, change the direction into a two to one system. Okay, so it's very important to distinguish what rope does what. The green rope lifts, the tan rope lowers. Okay, and you're going to see this is a nice controlled ascent and descent okay so we came down here right now the tan rope is keeping this counterweight elevated okay because again when, once we release this we want our person to get raised up now i've set it to where the person is only going to go about halfway which is going to be the let me grab this. Okay, we're simulating a treehouse, right? So he's going to be raised to right here. Okay. Now, I could make it to where he goes all the way to the top, but the system won't be able to be reset. Okay, so we got to be careful about that. Okay. Now, the other issue, too, is since this is a two-to-one, uh, um, we want to limit his travel to halfway. So this pulley here needs to be about twice the height of this point here. 
okay, approximately, at least twice the height. And you're going to see why here in a second. Okay. All right. So let's see what happens. So remember the green line is for raising. He's already hooked up. All I got to do to release him is to unhook our catchment system. Okay. All right. So all I got to do is let go. And you see a nice slow ascent while the can of weight lowers. Okay. Here we are. Now what stopped him right here was and I'm going to get up here and show you here in a second as it's the, uh, the attachment system for the lowering. Okay. Um, very unsophisticated at this point, but it works. Okay. So right now we have raised him to this level right here. He's going to get off his system. So it's just a matter of unclipping. Okay. And our counterweight is lowered. Okay, and let's get a closer look at this. Uh, this is a protraction. I use that because it has a becket on it. It's a single pulley. And again, this counterweight is 30% heavier than our weight we're lifting. Okay, so I'm going to grab this ladder. And we're going to simulate going to this point right here. Okay. So in order to do that, this hypothetical person had to climb this ladder to get up to this point here. That's your trade-off, okay? Um, it seems counterintuitive to have to climb to get me lowered, but that's the only way this system is going to reset. I'm going to show you how that works. So he's at the second story. He's going to clip in. Okay. And I'm going to let go and you're going to see that he's going to be lowered all the way down to the ground at a safe speed. Okay. So what's important here is that the system, let me put a little tension on this green. The system has reset. So the next person or the same person, again, we have to get our weights close. Um, he can, if he wants to go back up, um, all he has to do is get back on the green. Okay. Release our tan line and we'll step back and he's going to be raised. Okay. All right. Well, I hope, hopefully I've captured all this. I know it's hard to do really close, uh, but that is a system once halfway done. And all he has to do is get to that second point up there and then the system will lower him down. Okay. All right. Hope this helps. Uh, have fun with it. Be very careful if you use a real person on this and uh, make sure everything, all your gear is rated for safety, life safety that you got proper rigging and that you got a backup plan in case it doesn't work. Something that's going to catch you besides this system. All right. See you in the next one.